Uh, hi folks, welcome to the channel. So in today's video also we are going to talk about Trinone and Amazon. We will be particularly dealing with a secret tool from Amazon which is add products via upload. It's a feature that is available for you in the Amazon Seller Central portal. So where do you find it? Log into your Amazon Seller Central portal, hover onto the inventory menu. Uh, under the sub menu you can see add products via upload. Click on it. Here you can upload an Excel file with your product information and you can list items through this tool. Uh, so in my previous video which dealt with Shine on Amazon integration using CD Commerce, I had admitted that CD Commerce is not efficient in terms of pushing items to Amazon. So what am I relying on? Yes, I'm not relying on CD Commerce. For publishing items to Amazon, I'm relying on this feature which is the add products via upload feature and for order processing, I'm depending on the app called Codist. So in this video, I will be explaining about this tool and why you should also consider to use this tool. Let me give a sneak peek. Check out the description section of this video. You will find a link to an Excel template. Download it. Go to the sheet called Meta. Under the Meta, change the few parameters. Provide your SKU code. Provide the link to images. Change the description. Upload it to the Amazon. And within two hours, yes, Within two hours, your listing will be live in Amazon and this is foolproof. Once the listing is live, you don't need to go back again and edit the listing and do any formatting changes or you don't need to fix the images. So before I proceed, let me make a statement. This method is not for all. If you are comfortable with Microsoft Excel, this method is for you. If you are a bit tech savvy in terms of like coding and all, maybe this method is for you. Don't make it to the conclusion immediately. Go through the process, see the video, understand the process and towards the end of the video, you make the call whether this method is for you or not. Without further delay, let's proceed and understand where you can find this template, how you can tweak this template and how you can use this template. So before that, let me roll on the intro. Before you proceed to watch this video, please make sure you know how to list a shine on necklace manually to Amazon. If not, I recommend you to watch my previous video. Just watch the segment starting from 31 minute 49 seconds. Let's get started. I hope you have logged into your Amazon seller central dashboard. Hover on the inventory menu. From the sub menu, click on add products via upload. In the next page, you can see three tabs. First one is download an inventory file. Second one is upload your inventory file. Third one is monitor upload status. If we need to upload products, we need to rely on tab two. However, first we need to create the template. So let's stick with tab one for now. Scroll down, we intend to upload pendant necklace product. So under the search tool, search for pendant necklace. From the search results, let us select the option one. Post that, scroll down. Under marketplaces, I'm sticking with the default option as my intention is to sell only in Amazon USA marketplace. On option 3, let us select the mode advanced. Now let us click on generate template button. Once the file is downloaded, open the template in Microsoft Office Excel. You can also open the file online using Google Docs. But I recommend Microsoft Excel. Once opened, you can see the various sheets. We should provide the information regarding our products on the sheet titled template. In the sheet titled valid values, you can see the permitted values for each of the data fields. For example, under product type, you can see these four values. You should be using either of these. Let us go back to the template sheet. Personally, I would like to go through each fields and understand how to fill them. But I'm sure most of you will skip it. So I have already filled these values and I have made it easy for you. So let me open the pre-filled template for Love Note Necklace. You can find it in the description section of this video. This is the template where I have already filled in the values. This template can be used to upload a Love Note necklace product. Let us open the template using Microsoft Excel. You can see three records here. First one is the parent listing. Second and third are the child listings corresponding to the standard variant and mahogany style variant. You can see that I have filled most of the columns. To upload your product, you need to edit some mandatory columns. You need to provide your product SKU codes. You need to provide the product name. Next, you can see few columns related to product images. Here, you need to provide the URL links that point to your product image. Next, you need to edit the parent SKU code. Next, you need to edit couple of 
the bullet point descriptions. You need to provide search terms. Make sure you provide the right shipping template name here. Finally, you can edit the price if required. Let us quickly take an example and see how to do this. I have already created the Shine On product on my Shopify store. The product is a love note necklace gift to mother-in-law. Since Mother's Day sales are on, I thought of taking this example. Let us see how to list this in Amazon. Let us copy the title from Shopify backend and paste it to our Excel. For parent, you can keep the title as such. For child listings, you need to add the variant name in brackets. Once the titles are set, let us update the SKU codes. From Shopify product page, copy this and paste it to Excel. Next, you need to provide the image URLs. You can download the images from Shinon app, upload it to some FTP server and use the links pointing to the respective locations. Alternatively, what you can do is right click the images from Shinon app and copy the image address. You can provide these URLs to your Excel template. Just ensure the main images you use are Amazon compliant, meaning those should be the ones where the products are placed in white background. Also, the last two images are generic, meaning those are independent of your message card design. Hence, next time when you upload a love note necklace using the template, you can leave them as such. Scroll to the right and update the parent SKU code. Don't miss this step. You need to provide the SKU SKU code of the parent record here for the last two listings. Basically, you can leave this field empty for parent listing. For child listing, you need to enter the SKU code of the parent. Next steps are trivial. You need to provide description and bullet points, provide the search terms. Most part of description and bullet points will be same for all love note necklace. So next time when you upload a love note necklace, you need to edit only few things here. You can scroll to the right and edit the price if required. Let us save the file. And now it's time to upload. So for that, go back to add products via upload page in your Amazon seller central portal. Rely on the second tab, upload the file. Since you are only uploading three listings in few minutes, the listing will go live. However, I recommend providing few hours before you check. So after a couple of hours, check the listing. Amazon will take some time to show the images and it will also take some time to group the listings under a parent. Now you can see that your listing is live. Let us ease the process further. Let us analyze and understand what things we need to update when you upload a love note necklace in future. Title will change. First two bullet points can change because it, it's, it's related to the niche as well as the message card. First line of the product description can change based on the niche. Few images will change. So to ease the process, I have created another template with a new sheet called Meta. You can find the link to this template also on the description. Here you need to change only few values. Let us take a quick glance. In most cases, you need to edit only few fields. These fields are highlighted in yellow color. Edit this, save it and upload. The process is as simple as that. By now, you should have understood this template will help you to upload one love note necklace only. What I would suggest is decide your strategy. It could be uploading a love note necklace every day. It could be uploading a love note necklace and love forever necklace every time. It could be uploading a listing with couple of message card options. Based on your strategy, you need to set up the template. So the template should be set up for the first time. Every other time you need to do the minimal changes. I'm not going to explain in detail how to set up the template for each of the cases. I would urge you to explore and do it yourself. However, if you think you need some help, just hit me up on my Instagram with a message. Before I stop this tutorial session, I will also show you how you can get the list of all Shopify product SKU codes and other related fields in a single file. You can head over to your Shopify store backend. So from the sidebar menu, click on products. So now you can see all the products listed here. Select the products which you want. Once the products are selected, click on export, then change the option from current page to selected, export as plain CSV file, click on export products, you will be getting a zip file. So inside the zip file, you can find the CSV where all the SKU codes of the products are listed. You can leverage this file to do bulk upload. I hope you understood about add products via upload tool and how you can leverage it. I personally prefer this tool over any other app, be it uploading one product or be it uploading 100 products. I prefer this tool uh, just because I am comfortable in Excel and I am well versed with Excel formulas. To make things easy for you, like I mentioned, in the description you can find the template for love note necklace. You just need to edit few of the parameters, you can upload this file and you are ready to go.
so feel free to download the file and use it so that's it for this video uh, see you in the next video until then it's bye